It is June the 2nd, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site in St. Simon Sound. I made it out today, and uh, we're st- still seeing uh, some of that material. Nothing like we saw yesterday, but we are still seeing some, and the telltale t- sign of the of the, the streak of contaminants coming off the wreck site. And we got in there and kind of slowed down and looked, and we could still see um, particles of that material uh, that we were scooping out of the water yesterday with a net. Uh, not near as dense as we, we saw yesterday, but they are still drifting out. And uh, we got some, some shots of some of that stuff and then a little video uh, coming up of the uh, of the actual uh, streak. And if you look in it, you can kind of see where the water looks a little smoother. Uh, that is the stream of uh, contaminants that are coming off uh, the environmental barrier uh, surrounding the Golden Ray Wreck. And uh, this was probably uh, about a mile long. Uh, we kind of, we slowed down and we kind of just idled up and and we're, we're looking at it. Um, and this was uh, right at the end of the incoming tide, so this stuff's still kind of drifting up into the into the estuary. Again, the crews that have been working out of there have uh, done a, a tremendous job in getting the majority of it uh, dealt with. Uh, from what we understand, they were able to uh, cap uh, whatever breach, uh, if, if it was uh, a pipe or tank we're not exactly sure but they were able to uh, cap uh, the the problem and have arrested the leak from inside the ship but uh, I guess what we're seeing here is material that's still kind of drifting out of the environmental barrier surrounding the ship and the environmental barrier has to have openings for access for the crews to get it in and out uh, and be able to uh, access the VB-10,000. So there are breaks in the environmental barrier. And, of course, uh, this material is, is finding its way through those breaches in the, in the environmental barrier and uh, making its way out into the sound. Um, hopefully they can get this dealt with soon. Uh, while we were coming up there, we did find a, a sizable piece of, of debris uh, it had some burn on it. You could tell it, it had suffered some heat damage. Um, pretty good chunk of it. You can see right there uh, by the size of my foot, this was a pretty good piece of it um, coming off that slick as well. And the big news today was that the spreader bars were lowered onto the ship with the straps attached to that Section 3. Uh, cutting was ongoing, and we could hear those pops and bangs as the, that anchor chain is, is being slowly pulled from side to side under that uh, tremendous tension being applied by the VB-10,000. Uh, it is making its way up there, and, and you can really see by the angle here of the chain, in particular the right side or offshore side of the chain, it's really starting to walk across the uh, the Golden Ray, and we expect uh, to see this section, barring any any problems, hopefully separated uh, in the next couple days. So we will be vigilantly watching this section as the cutting continues, and uh, who knows? Uh, we'll be watching. We we may see the implementation of that Wildcat block, like we've seen. Uh, many times before, uh, once that uh, the the chain really starts to to get a pretty steep angle across it, they've um, brought out that wildcat block to kind of control the angle of that offshore block. We may very well see that happen again here soon. So we'll be watching and waiting for the separation of section number three, and then we're eagerly anticipating. Uh, seeing this piece lifted and placed on one of those dry dock systems and uh, taken back over into the Port of Brunswick. Well, hey, that's going to do it for the report today. 
like to thank you for your time, for for checking the channel out and watching it. We're going to ask if you're doing it, go ahead and click on that subscribe link for us. Send us some comments. And most of all, I want you guys to stay safe out there.